Hello everyone, and welcome to Power Apps Portals Tips. My name is Nicholas Hayduk, and this is tip number 160, header and footer output caching. Two key web templates that show up on almost every page of your portal are the header and footer web templates defined on your website record. As you might expect, these web templates control the look and feel of what appears before and after the main content of the page. I covered this in more detail in tip number 115. In order to improve the performance of your portal, it is recommended that the output caching feature for the header and footer is enabled. Output caching means that rather than those two web templates being parsed and rendered for each request made to the portal, instead the portal does it once and caches them. This greatly improves the speed of a page load in the portal. Output caching is controlled via the header forward slash output cache forward slash enabled and footer forward slash output cache forward slash enabled site settings. If you have a really old portal that existed before output caching was introduced, you'll want to follow the Microsoft documentation, which includes instructions on what needs to be changed in your header and footer so that things like the username and the sign in sign out links continue to function correctly. Output caching is enabled by default on all new portals. If you decide to turn it off, you'll get notified when you run the portal checker, as output caching is one of the things that it checks. In the next tip, I'll cover the substitution tag in Liquid, which allows you to exclude certain parts of these templates from caching, which is useful when there is user-specific information in the header or footer. Thanks for watching. And I hope you found the Power Apps Portals tip number 160 on header and footer output caching useful.